guys, Super here. Today we're going to be talking about some Nintendo news. Alright, Nintendo has, they've decreased their sales, their projected sales numbers for the Wii U for March. Originally it was 9 million, but they've dropped it to 2.8 million. That is a huge drop. It's because the Wii U was not meeting their expected sales goals in, in the West, in the West, in the United States, and Europe. Well, but this really isn't a surprise to the rest of us because we kind of knew the Wii U wasn't doing very well, and I really don't understand how they could expect to sell 9 million. That is huge. They expected to outsell both the Xbox One and the PS4 during the holiday season and the beginning of 2014. Wow. Well, Nintendo, uh, I guess, is being a little bit more realistic with their sales projections. And hopefully they can at least make this goal, but they're estimating that they are going to lose 22 billion yen from uh, this these uh, lack of needed expectations. It was originally projected to be a profit of 55 billion yen, but uh, wow, 22 billion dollar. I'm sorry, yen loss. That's huge. I don't know exactly how much that is in dollars, but it's a lot. It's a lot of money. Hopefully, Nintendo won't have to bow out of the console competition. Michael Pachter has come out and stated that he believes Nintendo should drop out of the console market and just, you know, a lot of people have been saying this, you know, for a while. They've been saying that Nintendo should bow out, go and start licensing their IPs to third party developers and so they can make games for other platforms. Hopefully Nintendo will overcome this. We don't want another Sega. And if it goes really bad, we'll end up with another, another THQ. We definitely don't want that, not for Nintendo. If, if they get out of the console race, who knows? It could be, it could, it could cause a lot of issues. If any of these, like, I've said this before. If any of these huge companies go out, it's not good for any economy. It's not good for uh, people who play games, you know? It's not exciting. But uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully Nintendo can get out of this mess. This, the, the Wii U isn't the only bad news. Apparently the 3DS also isn't hitting their sales expectations. Even though the 3DS is the first, uh, it's the first Nintendo piece of hardware to sell 4 million in Japan since 2000, and it was the top-selling uh, platform in the West, you know, United States and Europe, I believe. The top-selling platform last year just last year and it still didn't meet their expectations now i don't know what kind of crazy expectations nintendo had for its hardware but uh if it's, if it's not meeting its expectations with those types of numbers then nintendo you gotta get real you gotta get real i mean that is just this is insane nintendo's not doing good they're not doing well they know they're not doing well but you know they refuse to make changes they, they refuse to adapt and you know turn around if they don't they're going to you know they're gonna fall out that's just what happens to companies if you enjoyed the video please like if you found it informative at all like it if you have any thoughts on any of the topics mentioned in the video please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below if you haven't subscribed already Please subscribe, as always, all the links to the articles will be in the description below. Have a nice day, as always guys, stay super, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye. YouTube was founded by three former PayPal employees in 2005, by the names of Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Jod Kerum, Jod Kerum. Jaw, Karam, Karam, or however the heck you say.